Ever since the United States added Huawei to its entity list in 2019, its chip designing subsidiary, HiSilicon, became Huawei's main source of chips. Back then, HiSilicon was the second largest customer of TSMC. When more sanctions followed, not only was HiSilicon deprived of TSMC's advanced manufacturing processes, its alternative supplier, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, was also banned from obtaining ASML's EUV or Extreme Ultraviolet lithography equipment. SMIC is China's homegrown champion to rival TSMC, but has been facing challenges with progressing to 7 nanometer and beyond without the EUV machines. According to SMIC, it can only manufacture at 40 nm node without US suppliers. Ever since, Huawei and the Chinese semiconductor industry have been striving to expand upstream, realizing that the IC manufacturing equipment is the choke point of the industry. Recently, industry watchers believe that Huawei has taken the first move to develop its photolithography equipment. Welcome back to the world of China. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe, it's free. Let's move on. China started its semiconductor journey in the 1990s, focusing mainly on integrated circuit or IC design. The newly invented foundry model allowed TSMC and Asia's other contract manufacturers to offer their capacities, meeting demand from the mainland's fledging fabless chip makers. Resulting from a 30-year-long journey, China has grown into a major player in this space, accounting for nearly 13% of the global IC design market in 2020. These days, the action takes place in areas beyond chip design. Amid the continuing trade and tech standoff with the US, China has been speeding up the development of domestic invention plants to localize the most vital elements of the technology supply chain. China's leading chipmaker, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corps, or SMIC, plans to build a new $2.35 billion US dollars factory in Shenzhen after striking a deal with ASML Holding of the Netherlands, according to news reports. The Shanghai-based SMIC foundry revealed in filings to the city's Boris that it had secured a $1.2 billion volume procurement deal with ASML's Shanghai subsidiary to source critical equipment from the Dutch firm. ASML is the world's leading supplier of optical lithography systems used in semiconductor production. SMIC is key to China's plans to become self-sufficient in semiconductor production amid rising tensions with the US, which imposed a ban on exporting chips to the company in December as part of an escalating tech war with Beijing. Negotiations on the ASML deal reportedly went down to the wire in the hard-won contract. An extension of an expiring one in place since 2018 will secure shipments until the end of the year with no other strings attached other than a down payment of 30% for each transaction. Shanghai newspaper cited SMIC CEO Zhao Haijun as saying, It was also expected that Chinese authorities would give quick approval and inspection processes for SMIC to import photolithography devices to Shanghai and its plants across the nation as part of the deal. The deal was entered into in February and ASML is legally bound by US sanctions banning the sale of advanced technologies to China made with American know-how. ASML has reputedly assured Amsterdam and Washington that only deep ultraviolet lithography technology, or GOV, is used in making less speedy processors, will be sold to the partially state-owned SMIC under the deal. Higher stakes are attached to ASML's Propriety Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography, or EUV, used in making more advanced chips. The technology is accessible only to a handful of manufacturers, including TSMC, to make refined chips like the ones used to power Apple's latest flagship handsets and laptops. The ASML deal will give SMIC the technological boost it needs to start expansion programs amid a global chip shortage, including the new production plant in Shenzhen. SMIC signed its deal with an investment vehicle controlled by Shenzhen's municipal government last week to break ground on the sprawling new $2.35 billion complexes in the southern Chinese tech hub. Currently, only the supply of EOV scanners to Chinese companies is being restricted. Following U.S. diplomatic pressure, the Dutch government didn't renew the export license for EUV technology in 2019. Since then, renewal has been under review, but without a date set as to when the procedures should be complete, it's generally assumed that the license has been put on hold indefinitely. Now, it seems that the U.S. might push for expanding the restrictions to DUV immersion equipment. If that happens, ASML's business could start to suffer from the U.S.-China technology wars. Until now, the financial impact has been negligible because 
The single EUV scanner ordered by China's most advanced foundry, SMIC, has been shipped to another customer. It isn't obvious that there will also be demand for the immersion scanners that ASML isn't allowed to sell to Chinese chip makers. Last year, ASML's revenue from system sales in China was 1.9 billion euros, representing 13.2% of total revenue. That's a significant market, but it's unclear how much it would be impacted by an immersion ban since Chinese sales probably go to fabs owned by non-Chinese companies in China. Additionally, sales may also include less advanced dry RF and KRF equipment. The Veldhoven headquartered company declined to provide more detailed sales data. SMIC's critical to Beijing's newly announced indigenous tech drive, a new roadmap toward greater self-sufficiency is featured in China's 14th five-year plan and 2035 visions and is endorsed by the Chinese parliament, which has classified indigenous chip design and manufacturing as a stable part of the nation's self-innovating renewal. The National Tech Blueprint was designed to supercharge state and private entities like SMIC in Shanghai and telecom giant Huawei in Shenzhen. Both companies are expected to lead the pack in breaking the U.S. tech iron curtain against China. The ASML deal will help but not immediately bridge the gap in China's advanced semiconductor production capabilities. Shenzhen officials in charge of industrial development said in reports that the bulk of the new plant's ASML-enabled production would be dedicated to less advanced 28 nanometer or NM chips. However, a homegrown 28 nanometer DUV lithography machine is scheduled to spin up from Shanghai Microelectric Equipment by the end of this year and to be fabricating 48 nanometer and 28 nanometer chips for the IoT devices on a propriety Shanghai production line. At Semicon 21 in Shanghai in March, the company showed a scanner operating at 90 nanometers. The management recently reported that improving yields at 48 nm and 28 nm remains a challenge. But SMEE Technology now has the basic homegrown UV capability free of US IP to fabricate chips. It's too early to assess just how much of a game changer SMEE might prove to be and on what scale SMEE and other Chinese DUV machines may be operating by 2025 at down to 5 nanometers. But SMEE has already defined expectations with its progress in a friendishly difficult area of technology. Still, the vast majority of chips in current industrial and consumer use are of the 28 nanometer or wider variety. That includes those used in the automotive industry. The semi-official China Semiconductor Industry Association also made a candid admission in its annual report of 2020 that it would take at least two more years for Chinese foundries to acquire and master all the technologies behind 20 nm chip production. SMIC is also revving up construction for another 28 nm chip plant in suburban Beijing, which is reportedly also backed by local governments with guaranteed access to public funds. Wu Hanming, the dean of the Zhejiang University's Institute of Micron and Nanometer Electronic Engineering and a member of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, told Asia Times that even 28 nanometer chips are in tight supply, and SMIC was moving in line with soaring demand to launch new semiconductor plants across China. It remains to be seen what role Huawei will play in the development of China's first homegrown DUV machines. Ren Zhengfei, Huawei's founder and CEO, believes that China's semiconductor industry is mainly constrained by manufacturing equipment rather than chip design capabilities, but at the same time, Ren recognizes the high entry level to develop domestic chip manufacturing equipment given its complexity. According to SMEE, for example, despite its 20 years of lithography machine development, its current 90 nanometer equipment is still 10 years behind ASML's products. Despite the technology gap, ASML is said to be worried about China's catching up process. ASML CEO Peter Winnink is concerned about the US ban on EUV equipment sales to China. The CEO reportedly believes that it will take only three years for China to master advanced lithography machines, and by then, it can produce them at lower, more competitive prices, ousting ASML from the global market in the process. He believes if you want to stay ahead of China, you have to lead in innovations. Winnick has indeed been observant of the current US sanctions in China, thinking that it'll only stimulate the country's technology autonomy and eventually damage European industry in return. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video, then give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Watch more about Huawei getting US approvals to buy auto chips. The link is in the description below.